morning. Uh, this is uh, Luigi Badano. I am uh, the president of the European Association of Echocardiography, and I'm um, uh, here in Munich today at the ESE meeting 2012 to discuss uh, one of the major changes that occurred in the organization of the ESC constituent bodies, that is the change of the name of the scope of the European Association of Echocardiography into European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging. And today I have the pleasure to discuss this with three distinguished friends. Uh, on, uh, uh, on the left there is Professor Massimo Lombardi uh, from Pisa, a representative of the working groups of uh, cardiac MRI and the CT. Professor Gerard Maurer who is the editor-in-chief of the European Heart Journal Cardiovascular Imaging and Professor Patrizio Lancellotti who is the president-elect of the new European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging and uh, the chair of uh, the scientific program of the EuroEco and other imaging modalities meeting. Let me, uh, this is a process uh, that started a few years ago and uh, started with the first change in the name of the journal, then uh, there was a change in the name and the scope of the uh, Congress uh, and uh, finally now is the time that all the constituent bodies uh, are together to, br to uh, create uh, the new uh, association. Let me start uh, from uh, Professor Maurer. How it was that uh, uh, we changed the, the name of the journal and what is the outcome of the new journal after one year of experience? Well, I think we realized more and more that we need to get away from a technology-driven approach. We need to worry about the patient, we need to worry about science, and we need to worry about teaching. And it makes much more sense to use this problem-driven approach and uh, simply use the, the various imaging technologies where they function best. <clears throat> the journal has uh, been changed from the European Journal of Echocardiography uh, as of this year and is now called European Heart Journal Cardiovascular Imaging. It's an integrative imaging journal where all imaging modalities have their place. So far, this has been a very successful enterprise the number of submissions has more or less doubled compared to two years ago. The quality has gone up. Uh, all imaging modalities are in, uh, enclosed in uh, the journal and uh, we receive more and more high quality submissions. So even though we still have some ways to go, the start has been very successful, I think. Uh, Gerald, uh, which is the percentage of non-ECO papers that are presently submitted to the European Journal of Cardiovascular Imaging? Well, at this point, about half the papers are non-ECO. Okay. So the majority are CMR, but also CT, uh, nuclear, PET, and also some invasive imaging, meaning OCT and intravascular ultrasound. Thank you, Gerald. Uh, Patrizio, um, in the process, there was also the need to change the, the name and the scope of the annual meeting of the European Association of ECHO that now has become EuroECHO and other imaging modalities. How it happened and how is the cooperation with the other working groups? Uh, le let me first start, Luigi, with one important thing. is just to mention that the next EuroECHO will be held in Athens in December. And uh, the main themes will be about atherosclerosis and imaging and about uh, outcome and uh, the role of non-invasive imaging in the outcome. Uh, we have changed the name, you know, just in line with the change with the uh, association scope as well as with the change of the name of the journal. And the collaboration with the working groups is uh, regarding at least, uh, you know, Euroeco is perfect. So we have more and more sessions dedicated to multi-imaging modalities because, as you have mentioned, the scope of the meeting has completely changed. We are now focusing on the patient, so the patient really takes the central role. And we are trying to define how imaging modalities can really modify or at least have an evaluation of the outcome of the patient. So uh, we have these different uh, sessions on multimodality imaging, so we have about 12 sessions together, and we have some separate sessions on different teaching courses. Thank you. Massimo, so we have uh, built up uh, the infrastructure. Now we have to go to the real stuff. 
and so to build up the cooperation with the different imaging modalities to pursue the scope of uh, cited by Gerald and Patrizio. How uh, is the point of view of a working groups? Well, the nucleus of the working group and the members of the working group uh, are very positive toward the building up of a new organization, a new entity, a new body in, on, the society, on the society where we can uh, cooperate among uh, different experts. And uh, the target, which is exciting all of us, is uh, to build up a new figure of uh, expert, which is uh, the cardiac imager. This is, in uh, my opinion, our opinion, uh, depicting, uh, depicting a new, a new uh, a professional uh, entity, and Europe will, uh, European cardiology will surely gain from uh, this possibility. Thank you. I think that we have given quite an overview on what is occurring within the ESC and I will stay with this last message from Professor Lombardi. The ESC is continuously renovating its constituent bodies and looking at the future to build up the new non-invasive cardiologists for in the interest of the patients and the interest of those who paid the health care costs. Thank you so much for everybody for uh, being here.